According to a paper published in the Journal of Neuroscience, scientists have successfully injected human glial cells into mouse brains. So we're getting really creepy. So glial cells are responsible for efficient communication between neurons. And the effect is that the injected mice are now four times smarter than their peers. So here's where it gets really interesting. It's already interesting, but it goes above and beyond here. Researchers could have, but didn't, uh, inject chimps with the glial cells. They say, quote, We briefly considered it, but decided not to because of all the potential ethical issues. So what they described is, with a mouse, okay, you just injected some human brain cells into a mouse's brain. It took, in the sense that it worked, but you're still dealing with a mouse brain. So you, they kind of hit their peak in the sense that they're four times smarter than other mice. Now, what does that mean? It doesn't mean they could talk or anything like that. It just means that the tasks that they perform, it's measurable that they perform the tasks four times more efficiently. So there's something happening where there's, you know, the, the brain cells are firing better in layman's terms, and it's they're just functioning better, and it's measurable. So something happened, but you're still dealing with a mouse brain, so it can only top out at a certain, you know, range. They said, look, if we do it with chimps, uh, it could get kind of creepy, because they're already fucking really smart. So if you give them human brain cells and a chimp gets four times smarter, we're living in a science fiction movie. Like, what, what can the chimp learn if you give... I don't know, I'm not a scientist, but it's, we can speculate about it. What can the chimp learn if you put human cells in a chimp's brain? And then knowing people, what will, what will people immediately do? You know, they'll find a way to, like, make them slaves and force them to do shit against their will and fuck them and do all this crazy shit. So, <laughs> it always comes down to sex and, at some level or another. But it, it, this is insane to think about. Now... We oftentimes talk about the positive aspects of science, and believe me, I don't think there's any stopping the science train. The snowball effect is going to continue, the domino effect is going to continue, and what we should do is write a blank check to do research on getting rid of cancer, getting rid of heart disease, all these things that plague people, strokes. We should really invest billions of dollars to try to cure these things. So, science has a tremendous upside, and that side, it makes it necessary to go down that road. But there's also this weird, creepy, ethical issues, sci-fi movie type stuff like this, where it's like, we're just kind of fucking with shit. <laughs> I mean, sure, maybe at some point this will lead to some sort of tremendous breakthrough for medical purposes as well, which would be fantastic. But at face value, when you look at shit like this, oh, whoa, okay, this is getting creepy. Isn't this how, like, Planet of the Apes starts or something? Or some weird sci-fi movie, Contagion, or whatever? So, it's interesting, man. There's upsides and downsides. I mean, I guess the bright side of this is that... I mean, how much worse can it get in terms of the bad path for science? Because we already have nuclear weapons. So, <laughs> like, that was the bottom. The bottom was, hey, we just created bombs that can kill millions of people in, like, seconds. Can, you place like six of them in good spots around the world, everybody's dead. So we already hit the bottom with the worst aspects of what science can bring us. We should really look at only the bright side now and try to cure diseases and do stuff that would benefit humanity. That would be fantastic. We need the good to catch up with the bad. But either way, this is some crazy stuff.